have engaged in uh, this massive uh, fraud taking place in regards to the election, and it's clearly not the work of just one rogue uh, conservative, as some will try to have you believe that this is all the result, the mastermind of this young uh, conservative uh, staffer in Guelph. Um, this new evidence suggests that um, th this thing is much larger than that. Um, so the question uh, remains that did the, did the calls actually affect the outcome of the federal election? And here, in a recent poll from the CBC, I'll just show you here. This is a poll today. Did the robocalls affect the federal re election results? And uh, here are the results of the poll. 80% say yes. 80% 80% of the people polled believe that, uh, yes, this did indeed affect the outcome of the federal election. Um, so now, obviously, um, the NDP and the Liberals are calling for uh, by-elections in, um, in the writings that were affected by the scandal. And um, just yesterday in the House of Commons, here's what Stephen Harper had to say about that. Um, I'll show you here from the Globe and Mail. Harper ignores opposition calls for by-elections in ridings hit by robocalls. Prime Minister Stephen Harper brushed off accusations of electoral fraud in, in the Commons Monday and rejected opposition calls to hold by-elections in affected ridings. So... Uh, that's obviously uh, ridiculous. He's just brushing it all off and, and uh, rejecting these calls for by-elections in the affected writings. Um, but the point of today's video and what I wanted to bring to your attention is something that I've discovered. I've been doing some research, been doing some digging, and I have found here on Election Canada's website uh, the fact that we don't have to sit around and wait for the NDP and the Liberals to debate this issue with the Conservatives to find out if there's a need for by-elections or not. We actually of the international financiers uh, who are pulling the strings and um, that, that's, that's just simply what he's, he's here to do. And I remember, you know, j j just last year um, when he gained his majority, I remember thinking, how on earth could Canadians vote this guy in again. I mean, especially after what took place at the G20 summit here in Toronto under his watch. Um, we all seen it. Um, if you haven't, uh, check out our film Into the Fire. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I remember just thinking to myself, how on earth could Canadians vote this guy back in? And uh, well, it turns out they didn't. Um, this uh, robocall scandal um, made it so that many of the voters couldn't uh, take part on election day and the way this pretty much boils down is there's a company uh, based out of Edmonton called Rack9 uh, who they, they run an automated telephone um, service uh, where they will play automated uh, messages and um, these phone calls were made last year on election day uh, in what now some are saying in over 34 different writings. So this is a concentrated effort all across the nation uh, where these phone calls were made um, to non-conservatives uh, instructing them that their polling, the location for their polling stations has changed. So this ended up causing a great deal of uh, confusion and resulted in a, a lot of people not being able to make it uh, to the polls on time on election day and not being able to cast their vote and have a say. Um, so, so th this is con complete and total fraud uh, by the Conservative Party, and as I said, it, it's not like it's just some little uh, rogue uh, conservatives across the country t trying to do this. This was a concentrated uh, effort all across uh, the nation. Um, and, and as I understand it, I believe he only got his majority by, I think, over 6,000 votes or something, so it was very close. So. There's no doubt that these robocalls um, did play a part in Stephen Harper gaining his majority government. 
uh, which makes me think that this majority government is an Ill illegitimate one. Um, he, he did not legitimately get it. He engaged in fraud uh, to do so. So Canadians really should be completely outraged at this point um, that, you know, we, we've, we've been lied to, cheated and robbed. Uh, Stephen Harper stole the election and um, Canadians really ought to be outraged at this point. Um, and so right now is the key time to not let this just slip.